hey sentiment is bad but i don't think the bull run is over yet Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host Jay, and today want to talk to you guys a little bit about this market. Want to talk to you guys about the sentiment and everything that's going on as far as it being bearish. And I want to talk to you guys about why I don't think this bull run is over yet, and the levels that we need to hold for me to still feel that way. So if you're excited about that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you are not subscribed to the channel, leave me a comment of anything that you want me to talk about in these videos and let's just get right into it so the first thing i want to talk about is the fear and greed index so right now we are in extreme fear which is at 21 and keep in mind this thing has gotten lower than that i've seen it get all the way down to like a six or a seven um, when people get really really fearful and usually fear just means the price is down people are getting scared they're selling that that's all that's going on so for me when we get to this fear section it's 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 gym hunting season it's time to go hunting and looking for these coins because this is where everybody is selling at this is where everybody's getting rid of their bags they're panic selling do not panic sell if you didn't have a plan for it you got to have a plan going up and you got to have a plan going down so before i even say anything i'm going to talk about why i think this bull run is still going but i still want you to make a plan just in case i'm wrong or anybody else that you're watching is wrong because this is not financial advice this is just people talking about stuff that they study every single day going into the charts of bitcoin we can see that is because on the weekly we got about say four straight weeks of down even last week felt pretty bad so i'm just gonna say four straight weeks of down but the good thing that happened was we closed last week above this 34 moving average and somebody asked me um, why the 34 and the 13 is so important in my strategy for a couple reasons the main reason is because they're fibonacci numbers and i like to use fibonacci numbers if you don't know what fibonacci numbers are i have a video in my um in my channel you can go type in fibonacci and you'll see i made a video called why fibonacci is important and i explain it all in there and it's very important so um that's the, one of the first reasons one of the second reasons is because i back tested it and it seems to work you can look on here once we get above this 13 moving average come back down and retest it we are looking pretty good for some green skies going there we get below it and things get pretty ugly so um <clears throat> that's just a 13 to 34 so right now we have the 13 looking like it wants to curve down and um cross this 34 looking bearish that will not be good bitcoin is below the 34 right now now what we want to do is the same thing we did last time we want to just hug it to the upside and then make our way back above it if that happens that will be very cool i think we are still seeing that hey the this line right here is still going up as far as bitcoin's concerned um it's not going down yet so uh the trend on the on the weekly is still up um, in my opinion and you can see it right there so looking at this weekly bitcoin chart this red line i have right here was the top of the previous bull bull run and then this red line right here was the top of the bull run um before that so what i want you guys to pay attention to here is this is the cycle chart that we're looking at right here and i want to bring up this psychology of the market chart that i haven't talked about on this channel in a while now belief hope optimism um, no, it starts in disbelief and it goes to hot hope, optimism, belief, thrill, euphoria. And then after that, things start to crash down. We got complacency, uh, anxiety, denial, panic, capitulation, anger. Where do you think we are on this chart? Do you think we're in um, complacency? A lot of people think we're in complacency and they think that the price is coming all the way back down to uh, 20K. Some people think we're in optimism. Some people think we're in disbelief. But where do you think we are on this chart? Because this thing seems to play out over and over and over, especially in crypto with the four year cycles. This thing tends to play out um, um, every four years with the law of diminishing returns applied to it, which just means that over time, the return will get less. So looking at this chart, I want to compare it to the Bitcoin chart. Starting here, where do you think we are so if we look at it and we map it out from the last bull run you have hey right here you had 
the start of optimism. That's usually what's going on before we start to go straight up. We got here, you have this thing going straight up and then it came back down to this thing. So we have not gotten, in my opinion, to a place where this looks like this. It doesn't even feel like that. It doesn't feel like euphoria. It doesn't feel like thrill. And it doesn't even feel like complacency, right? Um, if you feel some of these things, then let me know. But I don't really go uh, make investments off of uh, or making trades off of feelings. But it doesn't feel like um, complacency or euphoria or thrill at this moment. When I look at this chart, it doesn't look at it look like it either because this is a high and then this one is above it and then this is a low and then these ones are all above it so far so I can't see how we can be in the complacency now I do see how we can be in a bear trap because people are trying to you know trap people and liquidate people um, so I could see that so have a plan for both ways either way um, going into the Bitcoin rainbow chart um, this chart has been pretty good for a while now when we've gotten up here in the in the red before and then we came back down to the yellow things have gotten pretty bearish before this time we didn't even make it to the first uh, red level we didn't even make it to like the top of the orange so we are still in the yellow here looking like something like that was going on back here in 2017 or looking like something that was going on back here in 2013 so we could be right in the middle of this bull run still and we can still have you know <laughs> a couple more months to go on this thing so right now we're in the in the yellow that's just saying hodl and the reason it's hodl is because at that point it's hard to hodl people are thinking that it's dead people are thinking that it's over and it and it's hard to hodl right there that's why it's hey just hold on for dear life sit on your hands and don't do anything for now but it is not alt season right now but you have to remember that all coins are up super high right now some of the all coins that we were trading were like two cents maybe three months ago and now they're a dollar and then now they're back down to 60 cents those are normal retracements in my opinion those are normal retracements in crypto we see that when bitcoin dips like 30 percent all coins will dip you know 50 to 60 percent um on average just because Bitcoin's market cap is half of the market cap in one token. So overall, I don't see a lot of things on these charts that are telling me that we are in the end of a bull run or the end of a bubble. Looking at this psychology of the market chart, here it is. Again, you would see euphoria and complacency. Yes, I'm a genius. We're all going to be rich. Thrill, I'm going to buy more. Uh, maybe thrill a little bit maybe uh euphoria maybe hit in a little bit but complacency i haven't seen that yet anxiety i haven't definitely haven't seen that yet so what do you guys think we have the news scaring people and that's the only thing that can really kind of change people's mind in an instant is if some type of mon monetary policy change happens and of course well duh because that affects everyone's you know everyone's income instantly so <clears throat> I hope this video helps some people out, especially some people who are in this market right now and feeling the sentiment down, feeling that their bags are getting beat up and they're thinking, man, I don't even know what to do right now. Come up with a plan. There are so many people in this market who've been here for a long time who don't have a plan for when stuff like this happens. We see these dips all the time time me what i do is i always you know when things are looking really good and i'm feeling euphoria i start to get some money on the sidelines and get ready for a dip because things can't go up forever so like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new here leave a comment in the comment box of anything you would like me to talk about if youtube lets me see the comments sometimes i don't get those so if you want to reach me and have access to me at any time you want you can join my telegram or just talk to some cool people in crypto if you don't have anybody to talk to in crypto we're right there um so yeah till next time peace